All right, the dinner party thing in New York, it's a problem. Yeah, why is it such a problem in New York to go to a dinner party? May, perhaps because there are so few, right? Yeah, unless you're willing to pay out of pocket from a menu dinner. Not like going to somebody's house where they cook, because that's what we do. Right, they cook and, we and that's a dinner party. In New York, when you are invited, you go over to someone's house... Right. And they cook the meal. That's and there right. are few because people have too much stuff crammed into their places. They no longer invite people over. And that's just how it is. So when we do go to one, it's kind of special, yeah, right? It's very special. Very nice. You bring a bottle of wine. You bring a cake, something. You got to right. bring something. Right. You know, etiquette. But when there is a problem, like if the host does not tell you that they require for the guests to take off their shoes upon entering their place. Oh, yeah, that's always a pain for me personally. I don't like taking my shoes off. Unless somebody in, in advance, they tell you, hey, look, you're coming to the party, beautiful. Do me a favor. I really like to have people take their shoes off, so if you want to bring a pair of slippers and, and, and pair of socks. So if there is no warning... They should be providing a pair of socks for the guest. Yeah, that's too much to hope for, though, sweetheart. And no communal slipper should be offered either. Yeah, but you know that's us. You know, we're clean. I like... Because what happened? Clean. What happened tonight when we went to a dinner party invite and we were asked to take off our shoes and we were not informed ahead of time that we'd be doing so? Well, the problem with that is, one, like you said, we weren't informed ahead of time. Two, there was a little dog shitting all over the place. So shitting when, all over the place. All over the, well. And, and guess who was asked to take off her shoes and stepped into that dog shit? Well, I think we can guess you, sweetheart. Yeah, me. You. So, why, in, in heaven's name... Was I asked to take off my shoes when there was an animal running around the place, which, which is obviously a mark of uncleanliness? Well, to be fair, the little dog didn't have his shoes on either. <laughs> but what bothered me the most is one or two people didn't have to take their shoes off. Yeah, what was up While with that? While you were stepping in dog shit. So I stepped they in the dog in shit shoes. in my socks because I was not offered anything. Right, right. That really bothers yeah, me. Yeah, I know. But that that's the whole thing with etiquette and cleanliness. You see, when you come to our place, you're guaranteed cleanliness. Like we wash our hands when we prepare food. We don't put our shoes on the bed. We don't put hats on the table. We don't even wear our street clothes on the bed. Nah. We have specific clothes. Street clothes go on the couch, which is never sat on in our PJs. Exactly. I know what you're saying, sweetheart. We don't tell people to take our shoes off. Another thing that bothers me is when you go to somebody's place and they don't want you to wear, well, this is for the ladies, the high heel thing. No high heels, and then you show because up. Because of the specialized wooden floor or what not, whatever right. the hell it is. Then when you get there, the host is wearing high heels. Come on! Yeah, that, that was just mm. so backward. I have no idea. And, and what happened at that restaurant you went to? When, you, when you went to the, use the, the facilities, what happened? There was a chef in there, right? Oh, my God. The restaurant out in New York. Uh, New York Island. Yeah. I'll never forget that. We're standing there washing up. And the door opens up to the stall. You know the stall? That don't mean ah. you're taking the piss. That means you're doing a job. Know what I'm saying? Oh and this my guy God. comes out. The chef cap, the apron, the whole thing. And he just goes for the door to leave. Me and another guy. We're like, hey. Where the hell are you going? Aren't you going to wash up? And he kind of just like smirks. Like, hey, 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 I don't have... No, no, no. You get your ass over there and wash. And we watched him. We didn't leave until he washed. Don't give me that shit. What do they call that? Uh, 
uh, not fugitive, but something else like uh, not an anarchist, but uh, Hold on one I second. forget what it is. Anyway, I believe in right back. soap when you wash your hands. If, if one is told to wash yeah. their hands, they must use soap. If you do not use soap, you are you simply, simply rinsing off. You're cleaning the crap. You need to use soap. So if I say wash your hands, it's with soap. I know a lot of teachers deal with that. They How have about? to tell the students... Little yeah. ones. Mm -hmm. and, and you know what? I've mm -hmm. had to tell big ones. I've yeah. had to remind people right. to right. use soap. Ugh, right. it's just so disgusting. Mm -hmm. What about when somebody comes over, they lay a number two in your toilet, and then the stink, the painting of the bowl. That happened to me. The uh, whole thing. We ha oh. I had a guest, an impromptu guest come over, and, he, and this man squatted in in my apartment for hours and i said you know it's it's eight hours now you haven't even used the bathroom well he went and and used the bathroom and then i did and when i lifted up the toilet seat i found a piece of crap oh. soldered oh. to the side of the toilet bowl and i had to run out and say that he had to fix my toilet because that was absolutely Absolutely disgusting. disgusting. I could not believe it. And, and a you guy, know, right? A guy? Yeah, a guy. Oh. A guy. I, yeah. At I a was woman's a, house. I, yeah, at, the, at a woman's the house. Painting the bowl, sorted. It, it sounded like he had a flush ten times when he finally went in there, and he probably had to get his hands involved. And at that point, I wasn't even listening to hear if he washed his hands after he actually removed the piece of soldered on black. Crap from the side of my toilet. That, oh. That, that's too much. I, I, I think we gotta wrap this up. Please wash, wear your shoes. It's important to be clean. Very Smell important. good. Wear deodorant, even if you make your own. Clean your I, clothes, change your underwear. Come essential on, essential oils. You're dealing Come with on. other humans. Come it's on. It's all out there at our, our disposal, and it, it's it's cheap. Yeah. It, it doesn't cost That's much. Right Not much. Not much. Oh, and one last thing. Uh, I'm all into nature and the earth, but there's so many of these people. They hey. think being close to the earth means to stink. Stink. You know, it ain't nothing against showering or bathing. Uh, Jump in the swamp, the, the pond, something. If you're close to the earth, there are plenty of... Smelling beautiful, smelling rosemary and thyme that you could rub on your body, lavender, all kinds of things in lush. nature. So if you're a nature person, embrace the the pleasing things that are pleasing, please. Yeah, a little ash, some water, some flower petals. Come on, put it together. You know what to do out there. Use anyway. ash on your ash. All right. Ash on your ash. All right. Look, sweetheart, after all this talking, I'm sweating. I'm going to go take a shower. I'll see you, baby. I love a sweet-smelling man.